This isn't an alien with a grabby face and a jet engine butt. It's a dragonfly nymph, nature's tiny aquatic terminator that spends most of its life underwater. Here's the hook. It hunts with a spring-loaded prehensile lower lip and escapes using rectal jet propulsion. A catapult up front and a jet in the back. As nymphs, they're aquatic predators living among plants, roots, or even buried in mud. Some wear snorkel tubes so they can stay hidden while drawing clean water. They breathe with internal gills inside a rectal chamber, pulling water in and out through the tip of the abdomen. That same system powers their escape jets. Let's talk mouth. The mask is an extendable labium with two articulated palps. Sometimes spoon-shaped for netting small prey, sometimes pincer-like for grabbing big ones. Inside are twin catapults. One loads a T-rod, one loads an elastic sclerite. When triggered, both release in 1540 milliseconds. Launching the mask forward, snatching prey, then folding back to reload. It's a literal biomechanical spring gun on a face. Now the jet butt. Water flows into the rectum for breathing. The anus seals, abdominal muscles pressurize, the valve opens, and whoosh, instant backward thrust. The wild part is the valve itself, a tri-leaflet design, three flaps they can control independently. By opening leaflets asymmetrically, they deflect the outgoing jet and entrain surrounding water. Translation, while exhaling, they're already setting up the next inhale, likely saving energy and pulling in fresher, oxygen-rich water. For turning, they don't steer with the valve. They just bend the body and fire. During ambush strikes, some nymphs even fire a mini jet as they shoot the mask, canceling recoil so their aim stays true. Fart and punch at the same time. Tactical, they molt many times, sometimes over years. With each molt, wing pads swell. When it's go time, the nymph climbs out, the cuticle splits, the adult pulls free, pumps fluid into its wings, and takes its maiden flight. No cocoon, no pupa, just a live, active build out of an adult inside a predator that's still hunting. Engineers study these mechanics for micro-robots and even smarter valves. That tri-leaflet control, its inspiring ideas for directing jets in medical 